Hi, Chris. Hi, Lee. How are you? Good. How are you? Did we have a good date this morning? Do what? Did we have a good date? A good date? Going to Aldi? We went to is Aldi. That, <laughs> is that a date? These days. Okay. It's well, a date. Yeah, a good date. Cheap date. Well, not really. No. <laughs> We were so proud of ourselves there because the last time we went and did a big grocery shopping was what, four weeks ago? Yes. And we spent two hundred and some dollars and this time we spent like hundred and sixty. That doesn't include animal food. Well it's some two hundred dollars all to get a little slate out. Okay. There you go. Not bad. No. Not bad at all. So while we were there first I have to tell you something. Okay. I'm pregnant. No, just kidding. <laughs> That would be a very cool. <laughs> so, I mentioned this in the car, but I think these people need to know this so their minds can be blown. Hold your brain in. Hold your brain in. Are you ready? When you go to an ATM and you put your card in and you're waiting for your money and you hear that, what? It sounds like it's counting money. It's a recording. It's a recording. Like an ATM is silent. It's just verifying your information. It's not it's not them counting your money. I don't believe it. It is. No, I don't. Google it. I just posted it out on my Facebook too. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, anyhow. <laughs> While we were at Aldi, because we're frugal shoppers, <laughs> we found this advent calendar on sale with different cheeses. It's the cheese advent calendar. You know, that's almost, that's almost wrong. <laughs> cheese, what, what does it say? Cheese advent calendar. Cheeses and Jesus. I, you know... I'm a little uncomfortable right now. That is. So we're going to go through Advent like right now? No, no we're going to do... That's not right, is it? No. No, we're going to do like days one, two, one and oh, two we got to catch up. Yeah, mm. we do have to catch up. Okay, do you see one? Um, <laughs> I don't know what. This is not my video. This oh, there is, it is. Number the producer one. is over there. Over where? Where you're sitting. Oh, okay. Why do you start with the star? Because it says number one. That should be last. Well, it's not. Okay, here we go. I don't know what this is. Hold on. <laughs> it's eat up. Edom. Edom. And what does that mean? That's a type of cheese. Edom is a type of cheese? Yes. You're going to have to put some descriptions in the description. Let's see if it has anything on the back. Edom. Sure it does. Pasteurized cow's mix, milk, salt, starter culture, microbial linens. That's all we know. I think that's pretty much what cheese is. Yeah. But this is Edom. I don't know that we've ever had. A little bit more information would have been. Do you want me to get a knife or can I use my finger? You can use your finger. Okay. You got I brought crackers. Do you want the big piece or the little piece? Right. There you go. Smells like cheese. Okay, actually. Smells like Velveeta cheese. Yeah. Smells good. Yeah. Now we know we like Edom. I've always wanted to go to a cheese tasting. This is kind of exciting. Just on my bucket list. Hmm. Yeah, good. Creamy. Yes. Do you like Edom? Okay, number two. That's biblical, you know. What? We shouldn't be eating eating cheese. That's bad. Why? Eat them? Yeah, eat them. Eat them, it's... 
I don't know them. Really? No, where they do. Hmm. Need to read back through Genesis then. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I take it they weren't good? No, no, they weren't. Oh. Now what's this from? This is aged cheddar. Okay, I like cheddar. Aged? Except it's still white. I like white cheddar better than something with coloring in it. You like cheddar better? Oh, it's crumbly. No? It's good. Yep, it's cheddar. Should we do day three? If you want to. Sure. I'm going to stay that right there. I think it says he needs another cracker. I think it probably says he wants some cheese. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This one is a black pepper gouda. Uh-oh. Is it very gouda? Amateur cheese come. reviewers. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> now, why is that so much bigger than the other cheese parts? Um, I don't know. Well, it's not as thick. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is black pepper gouda. I don't know if I like gouda. I don't either. Never had it. Oh, your dad's got more pepper. <laughs> What's it made out of? Well, if I had to guess, cow's milk. <laughs> yeah. Enzymes. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. I thought you'd like it because it's it evidently different. doesn't have a lot of its own flavor because all I really taste is pepper. Yeah, thank you. I would call it a neutral cheese. It's not real creamy like the Edom. Okay. Number four. We got ketchup. Plus it's nice eating little cheese and crackers. <laughs> okay. This is a uh, Mediterranean Gouda. Ouch. Does it really matter? I don't know. Would a gooda should a? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I kill myself. <sighs> what are you drinking? Want a sip? Hmm. Go spit with cheese. <laughs> you know, it might go well with cheese. It goes good with English. cheese. English. <laughs> That's true. So this is Mediterranean Gouda. Mm. Well, I really like that. You know, I'm thinking good is pretty much a neutral cheese. It's like it really doesn't have a taste of its own. No, but that mixture that they put on there is pretty good. Okay. Well, sure. And number five. Full of flavorful Mediterranean spices. Hmm. I like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a yellow cheese. I know. What is it? It's cheddar with chive and onion. Huh? It's probably very pretty good. Yeah. Lincoln's like, I haven't got any yet. Not, he has. He's had two pieces of cheese, so I'm going to break him up a little tiny there piece. Is. Okay. So what's this again? Ooh! Strong cheddar with chive and onion. Do you like it? Much too oniony for me. I like me some strong cheese. Do you like it? No, that's why I just said that. Alright. 
last one. Well. Is today the sixth or seventh? The sixth. Are you sure? Yes. No. I just say that. You just made that up. Oh. Here we go. <clears throat> Not quite sure how this gets us on the road to Christmas, but it's fun. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're back to another Gouda. That's okay. It's just plain Gouda, like no frills Gouda. So you can um, see whether it's an actual neutral cheese on its own or not. I think it is. I think we've pretty much already established that. The dog's taste testing. Very neutral cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's like. It's just a base mm -hmm. for other flavors. It's not really. No. It, kind of, it smells a little bit like cheese. But it doesn't really. Of course, you know, we're old, so maybe we don't taste things anymore. <laughs> I sure tasted that onion. So, out of all these, which one was your favorite? The cherry. With the chopping onion? Yep. Mine's a toss up between the Edom and the Mediterranean Buddha. I mean, that was fine. I mean, yeah. Is there any that you did not like? No. Thank goodness. The Gouda, plain Gouda, was kind of plain. It is. Mm -hmm. You kind of want it to be Swiss, but it's not. Right. It's just... It's just... Something. That's right. That we can't define. That's right. We'll sell so, a bunch of other stuff in it. We'll be back at some point. Will we? Unless we eat some more right now. No, we're not. <laughs> so we'll be we back. We are here to satisfy your... Intellectual cheese curiosity. Okay. You know, it said to pair with the um, to pair with the the wine. Pair, you know, the what? wine advent cheese calendar. And wine. Just, I don't really care. You don't like cheese and wine. I like either. Nothing special about both together, actually. I'm actually. I'm going sure to... all you French people out there are pretty pissed off right now, but you know, it's just the way it goes because we're. We're Americans. Well, I'm going to find out. And even though we do appreciate your efforts during your American Revolution, other than that, yeah. I love a lot of things French. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think you do. Chocolate? Yeah. I think you do. Okay, well. I'm going to go look up what <coughs> wine pairings go Having best said with that, our Yeah, we have cheese. skirted the edges of, well, risqueness. That was very French. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Say love you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.